so in the end you will maybe come up with a picture like this so we have about 60 ground control points added to the scene and I've checked every location in the end so uh, the points are marked now in uh, yellow color and I've added the reference pixel number to each scene so as you can see there are some combinations quite good fitting like combination number six but there are also uh, classes that I cannot see in uh, the Landsat picture so I've um, chosen another class in the end you will just click on report a cursor report and you will see something like, uh, or a table just like this so there were about three pixels uh, classified as urban there from this just only one pixel was classified by me as a user uh, for urban and two other pixels were classified for dense urban and suburban so um, this is some kind of report so we have about uh, in the, in grasslands so I've, I've chosen 12 pixels uh, as grass but from these 12 pixels only 10 were uh, classified as grass and two were classified as suburban as well as in all this was performing something different in uh, forest so I've chosen 18 pixel as forest pixels therefore 10 were marked normally as suburban area 7 as forest and 1 as grassland and we can go on with that but in the end you will uh, it's more interesting to see this kind of tables for producers accuracy and users accuracy and um, as you can see there are big differences between them so just look maybe in the first example here the urbanized area we have about three reference points in urbanized area two were classified as them as well and one is classified correct so what does it mean first of all check for the urban uh, urban points so we have one urban here uh, which is classified as urban one is classified as dense urban and one is classified as suburban so therefore the producer's accuracy is only one third but um, given the number of um, classified pixels as urban the users the user was performing by 50% right so just look for the classified data urban urban there's one there's zero there's zero and there's one again in this in the reference points of suburban so um, the user was uh, was finding one one pixel in two reference pixels as urban classified so the user was performed by 50% right it's a little bit difficult uh, to um, to read this table in the point of this uh, kind of um, overview table which is given here in the in the output but therefore I can recommend uh, and I will show you that in the end um, some kind of article or some kind of how-to article I found in the net and um, but just one more remark on that so we have chosen about 60 reference points to evaluate this scene and as you as you can see there are some classes um, I haven't found any pixel look here in the dense urban area so normally you should be able to see some kind of a uh, pixel which is um, part of the dense urban area but um, just keep in mind the the total area of dense urbanized um, area see in the here in the scene is about five percent or something like that so to get a point choosing the random point generator um in a dense urbanized area is quite hard and in the end so maybe you have to choose your sample locations to get a point in the dense urban area and then to see whether it's really dense urban or whether it's not and the same uh, is resulting here in the um, 
value of let's have a look here in the fields type number one I think there's as well just a, a few number of pixels belonging to that class and also in the real world there's only a few number belonging to that class so in the end you have to sh check for the overall um, classification accuracy which is about 63 percent here in the in this scene and this is not that good but it's highly depending on the number of uh, reference points